Yeah, Justin Rowe on the line from Stadium in Maine podcast. Uh, you can catch him right there at Justin Rowe 92 on Twitter. Follow him again to his podcast, Stadium in Maine podcast, talking Michigan football here. Uh, please like the video, share the videos out on social media, because if you enjoy the content, others will as well. All right, Justin, of course, we've got uh, a situation where the dead period will end at the end of the month. Then we get into a period of time in which people like us are expecting the floodgates to open uh, as players visit uh, campuses across the country. Is there any particular lean or number of players that you're looking at, uh, particular targets uh, or big visitation weekends uh, in June? You know, I I haven't I don't really have a great pulse on exactly who will be coming, but I agree with you. It's going to be, you know, hey, anybody and everybody come on and, and take a look, especially, you know, I'm not sure if you've been to Ann Arbor in the summer, but that's about the best time you can come here. So I'm sure starting in June here, they're going to say, you know, it's beautiful on campus. We want to have as many people come up here, check out some of the new facilities and the stadium that nobody's been in in a year and a half or two years now. Uh, so I, I think it will be exciting to have a lot of these guys on campus. And it'll be interesting, too, to see what their plan is or what their strategy is going forward with recruiting because – Matt Dudek, the recruiting director, uh, is now uh, gone. And, and so, um, you know, with uh, with a new recruiting director, with a brand new coaching staff, it's going to be a lot of new faces. It's going to be new, you know, new everything. Obviously, you're still in the same city. You still got the same program, still that old winged uh, winged helmet. But I think it'll be it'll be a kind of a little jump start for some of these recruits that maybe they had been talking to since they were freshmen now they're a junior and it's a whole, you know it's all been turned over there so uh i bet you there's a lot of guys that they maybe had fallen off with or not had uh their radar on for the past couple of years because as freshmen they said no nah, i'm not really interested they're going to start going after those guys again i think and say you know what we need to kind of just clear out everything restart a little bit let's who's on our board and who can we go after uh and then maybe some of the on some of those guys they can make a different impression and say you know what it's not the uh stubborn don brown on defense anymore uh it's not jim harbaugh's uh eat the clock offense anymore we're different now we have a a, a younger culture we're playing music in in uh, practice it we're that's yeah that which is the big thing that you know I've been I, I've said it a lot. You know, I believe that's the key to beating Ohio State is playing music in practice. So I'm sure that'll change everything. But I do think it makes a little bit of an impact in terms of, you know, how, what a kid sees when they want to be on campus, when they want to, you know, what type of a program they want to be in and everything. So uh, it'll be inter interesting to see, you know, if they o reopen recruitment with a lot of these guys they may not have had touch with over the past couple of years. And Justin, you brought it up at the outset. Anybody can look up the weather on the internet and see what the temperatures are typically like in different parts of the country at different times of year. But it's another thing to feel it and gain that experience, that impression, and to bring a recruit on campus in Ann Arbor in June when it's going to be a nice 75 to 85 degrees where maybe they're escaping somewhere else in the country where it's 103 right. versus bringing them on campus when it's 22 degrees where it's 65 somewhere else is just, again, we can all read and know what it's like at different times of the year, but to experience it and to come away with that experience, there's going to be no way to measure it, but I got to think that it's going to help teams in the Big Ten and Michigan in particular. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why Northwestern built an unbelievable facility right on Lake Michigan, right? And guess what? I, here, here's the truth about that. I bet you after August, that facility is about 40 degrees because it's windy coming off the uh, coming off the coast, and you know it's right on there. But when they do bring guys around in June, right, uh, you know, right on Lake Michigan, it, it is beautiful. And so, I mean, it's beautiful anyway. It's an unbelievable facility. It's right on the water, obviously. I'm not hating on it. But I think, like, that's that's my comparison. You know, Northwestern does that. And Michigan, you know, Ann Arbor in the summer, like I said, 
there are a lot of people that come here because that you really can't beat it when it is 80 degrees it's perfect it's a you know essentially room temperature uh and the sun is out and it's you know it's green everywhere and it, it's uh you know it definitely isn't is an advantage so we'll see uh you know i i definitely agree with you uh that the big 10 recruiting wise june and july uh are the biggest times it's when you know when you get into november uh, and some of those recruiting trips when they have to give them parkas and beanies and everything uh, i don't think they're as impactful as when you come onto campus uh in the middle of the summer